And I have Nate Cooper from Promax, and he's going to tell us a little bit about this awesome product that's behind us, their new workstation, and how it can really help you with your archiving of your video services and pretty much anything that you want to save in uh, HD and get to an archive. So take it away. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. So this is the Pro Max One. We just released this about a month ago. And with our industry kind of sitting here saying, uh, is Mac going to release another Mac Pro? Uh, I'm not moving to FCPX, I'm going Adobe or Avid. Uh, what do I do with my hardware? Um, so we kind of stepped back and pretended that you don't have to go Mac for a second. And we said, what can we do with, uh, with the Windows platform? And we found that when we were thinking that way, we could design a box that suits media and production really better than anything we've ever seen with a Mac before. And that was really the catalyst for the Pro Max One. So the Pro Max One is a Windows and Linux based workstation. You can get uh, extremely fast with it, up to 16 cores of processing, 128 gigs of RAM, uh, internal RAID, um, and a lot of options that are uh, uniquely suited to our industry for anybody producing video, any sort of creative content. Um, so what we said when we were designing this is there's two things that allow you to either uh, do the content you want to produce or to not be able to do it, and that's processing power and disk speed. So we were sure to put a lot of both of those in there. So if you open up, you notice that there's actually six drives in the Pro Max one on the front, and that's a, a six drive RAID 5 or 6 SAS enclosure and that can produce up to 1200 megs a second read or write. So you're able to do uncompressed 4K, 5K, R3D workflows, uh, RE RAW, anything that you can, any video format that you have, uh, it will be able to do that internally. Um, in addition to that, we've actually got quad boot disks, which allow you to have either SSD or 2.5 inch spinning disks on those. Uh, the great thing about having the quad boot disks is that you can clone your OS uh, and also do RAID 1 setups. So in worst case scenario, if you have a problem with the OS, you can be up and running in about 30 seconds no matter what. With the front loading, makes it very simple and easy to pop those in and out. Um, so we've also added a couple other features, uh, internal card readers, uh, P2, S by S, that go straight to the PCI uh, slots. So that gives you much faster performance in your file-based workflows. Um, another cool feature, especially for a lot of uh, uh, house of worship facilities um, that are doing their own production, is you can integrate an LTO directly into this. Um, so when you look at the power of 16 cores, uh, all of the storage that you would need in there to do any formats that you're working with, um, put some asset management here, which will allow you to uh, track everything from uh, you know, what books you're teaching on that week, uh, if you have guest preachers, um, what, what, whatever metadata you need to track, you can do that all internally because the processing power is there for it. Um, it's ideal for Avid, Adobe, uh, Autodesk, and Assimilate workflows. Um, and really, there's just no other box on the market that's as fast as it. And with uh, six PCI slots, four of which are 16 lanes, you can load this up with as much GPU power as you possibly could ever dream of. Um, so it's really, uh, we're pretty excited about it, and uh, I, it really gives a lot of professional uh, video editors, a lot of facilities, um, a great option as they're uh, trying to figure out where to move forward. Cool. Now, is that, this is shipping now? Yes, yes, we started shipping these about a month ago and they're uh, up and running in several facilities now. And what is, what is the starting price, and I know it can go from where it starts to infinity basically of how you load it, but what's kind of the base model and, and how much is that? Yeah, we've got three base models. The uh, lowest end starts at about $4,500 um, and is pretty on, on par with a uh, Mac 12 core as far as performance. Then we have two models that go above that uh, that are actually quite a bit faster than uh, Mac 12 core, uh, 15 to 50% faster. And uh, the base price on those starts at $6,300 and $7,500. Uh, for everything you would need for an all-inclusive workstation with storage, asset management, uh, an NLE, um, everything you would need, you're looking at 10 to 20 grand depending on how you outfit it. Cool, and since these are shipping now, you can go to their website, and your website is? www.promax.com, 
And if you want to go straight to the Promax One page, it's promax.com slash O-N-E. This is a really cool, uh, they, we'll probably post pictures uh, of the in, internal guts of this thing. It is, I mean, it's powerful. It's, and it's super, super solid. So if you need asset management, which so many of us do, you really want to check out uh, Promax. So go to their website and, and, and look this thing up.